So, um, high voltage homopolar generator. So, just a little background, of course, I'll run through it. Is that um, this is something that I came up with uh, quite a few years ago. And uh, on the homopolar generator, it's a special generator that um, produces hardly any usable voltage, but it can produce a massive amount of current. And in almost every. So, in 1977, Bruce De Palma advanced the concept of the homopolar generator in a way where he did something that's not even really supposed to um, work, as a lot of things um, that are common in this field that many of us seen that, that do work. So with this, um, he discovered that rotating the magnets together with the conductor still created a constant voltage. Now, if you're not too familiar with these, these concepts with uh, magnetism and moving with conductors and stuff, if you go back to the first one, it's kind of, you know, fairly known even by people who don't have a strong background in electro, you know, electrical engineering or anything, that to get a voltage out of an electromagnetic coil, you have to like sweep a magnet over it. So for example, if you put electricity into the coil, you create a magnetic field. And inversely, if you swing a magnetic field over that coil, you get electricity out of it. So what is important about the end machine is that unlike <laughs> conventional generators, which exhibit a rotational drag when current is drawn, the end machine exhibits no such drag. So you think about it, if you have anything out there spinning and if you had a magnet on it, you could tap it on the edge and you can tap it on the shaft, you can pull electricity off there without bogging down the thing that's spinning. And so you can electrically isolate different ones and you can have multiple ones on there and as long as it's spinning and you got the flywheel effect and you just have enough to make up for the loss there, you got the thing spinning and conceptually you can keep drawing a lot of electricity off there, but whatever's turning that shaft doesn't know that you're drawing electricity. That's the whole point about a ba uh, low back EM or a, a low, um, a no drag generator. It means no drag is produced when you're drawing electricity from it. You know, Paul Babcock, Jim Murray and some others have, you know, demonstrated through this conference so, some of those type of concepts and they're for, um, uh, kind of involved in these kind of concepts, but more sophisticated devices. But what's neat about this end machine concept is that it's simple enough that most builders and experimenters, even if you don't have a lot of, a lot of background in any of this, you can actually experiment with this on small scale just to kind of see the effect. And we'll, and, uh, we'll get into a little bit uh, more about that. Uh, 26, 27 volts. Okay, I'm not gonna keep the voltmeter on it when I speed it up because it doesn't really matter because when you see this thing blink, you know what it's doing. So that proves the point. When I push the brush down on the magnet, um, we've got it to where it basically almost it was doing it so good, so fast, that uh, it looked like it was steadily on. So you can see how touchy the brushes are, plus it's kind of a crude brush setup. And then I'm gonna disconnect the battery just to show the same thing, that the motor is not even receiving anything, and it's gonna wind down and it's gonna continue to blink that until it slows down to a speed that it can't keep it charged up. So that's absolutely 100% generator action from a two inch spinning magnet over 100 volts. Still doing it. <laughs> so that proves the point. <laughs> um,